Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, so my rune is finally finished crafting so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my bombetta and then try to go in the dungeon and see if we can get farther tonight. I'm hoping that we can since we messed up on Dr. Watts last night. We didn't remember that he could actually attack with zero stamina and zero CDA uh, or while under cooldown I mean. So hopefully we can do something about that tonight. We can uh maybe reduce his damage first instead of trait disabling. I don't really know which rune I should probably craft, but I'll just put that back in there and keep it the same, I guess. Uh, I think there's enough time in the rune lords that I won't have to spend any gems. Uh, actually, I will have to spend one to get that rune back in time. Maybe even two. Yeah, we have to spend two gems. But we might not need to. We might be high enough without it. I think we're going to be high enough without it, so... Probably just a waste waste of my rune crafter. But anyway... Let's go spend ten gems. And upgrade this bad boy. Uh, so let's see what his health we were working with last time versus what it's going to be this time all right so we did have 500 and s yeah is that right yeah 561,000 and now we're going to have five hundred and ninety five thousand. that was nowhere near as big of a jump as I thought it was going to be hmm as weak for the resource cost, in my opinion. I'll just leave his relics as is, since we don't really have any better ones. Uh, someone suggested that we run the Daze move on Kodama. Uh, not debating that that's not a better move than the one that I currently have on him for PvP. Uh, the single hit move. Let's see, where is my... Yeah, right there, the zero cooldown CDA move. Uh, I use that in PvP to bang on the area dodge monsters, usually. Alright, so we'll get that in there. Alright, now let's go to the dungeon. Uh, if we can consistently get the 43 node, I will be happy, but I'm trying to go past 43 tonight. 43 is the record. Hoping we can get to like 44, maybe. Uh, and I think maybe we can change this back to a speed. Alright, so we know that Armel is the one that can kill our Bombetta, so that's the one we actually need to deal with. Well, that was crazy. Might not get anywhere tonight. Uh, so my accuracy is reduced by 90%. Yeah, we're kind of forced into this. And then everybody else is going to hit crazy. They have stamina regen on, so we have to CDA. I didn't get anywhere tonight, guys. <laughs> wow. What a load of crap. All right, well, that's what happens in the dungeon tonight. So I'm curious if it'll set me back.
uh, other than doing the dungeon. I have not been collecting the maze tokens. We're getting even less than we got in the last maze, but I've just been uh, taking a break. I've been doing my tasks. I am currently on level like 65 in the first task, uh, and then I think we're up to like 47 in the second task. And they're not looking very well for finishing 100 in two weeks on both of them. Like, I've been broke a couple of times. There's no way to get a bunch of free coins. Uh, so, yeah, unless they produce some sort of, like, events in the game after you've played for a week or something, it's not looking good at all. It's looking like a huge time waste. Uh, I'm hatching Aatrox, and I have Craster in the... Crafter, and then the only monster that we need for the book page rewards is the new maze monster that's coming out. Uh, Manipulate, or however his name is, Manny Pulate. Uh, if I can get them all to rank one, that should be pretty cheap, and then rank two should be pretty cheap, and then I think we go back to trying to rank Kodama. In the next Gold Fever event, we can check to see how much our GPM has went up. Uh, I have been asked, people say, how do you get uh, level 10 runes easily? The answer to that is right here in these chests. Uh, if you look, there are 9 through 10 chests, and then if you rank the monsters, you can get 2, then you can get 4 from ranking them for a total of 6, and then you can rank them to 2 for a total of 12, and you can even rank them to uh, 3 for a total of 20. Uh, and on average, if you mix a level 9 with three 1s, in the crafter you will get a 10, or you will get a 9, or you will get an 8. And the chances of getting an 8 and a 10 are the same. So if you did half of them, you would expect to get a couple of 10s. You'd get a couple of 8s as well. But I'd say that's the easiest way to get 10s. So I'm completely not prepared for tonight's video since I was expecting to get farther in that dungeon and we got our rear end handed to us on the first note of the dungeon. Hopefully I will have some food ready. Uh, I'm going to wait to the... Maybe, maybe not going to wait. Maybe just going to up him so that we can come to the reliquary and work on leveling uh, relics that bring stamina down and then putting them, uh, like one be an example like this, uh, if we leveled this up, let's say we put like 2 million food into a couple of them. Alright, so a little less than 2 million food would get me able to remove 100 stamina from an attacker. And then if you can like put a couple of those on a monster, we could possibly drain everybody's stamina with, uh, with like junk monsters. I believe you can put one of those on a monster like uh, Slug, for example. So say the slug was wearing, you know, an Oblivion trap and, he, and his relic that he's got on now was up to 100. Uh, when he, You could put some life runes on him and then when he got hit, he would drain a ton of their stamina. And then if their stamina hit zero, you can just exit the dungeon and let the slug die on purpose. And then you can bring your main team in and they won't have any stamina to do anything. And you can uh, work the dungeon that way. That's what I will be looking into for improvement wise on how I plan to get farther in the dungeon. Aside from that, uh, I just want to keep ranking up as many of the monsters as I can for GPM purposes, uh, like Teddy and Heist. I got to rank a Heist today, uh, and it's worth noting that as long as you have the cells to do a cap rank out, you can use one of these crafter pods over here, and it's free. Uh, it's not free to do a full rank up like that slug, but say you had like a 130 and you were going to rank it to 132, you can use one of these pods while the other one is busy, and it doesn't cost you anything at all. As soon as Rune Lords is over, I will go back to making gold runes. Uh, when the race comes and the discount comes, I will open up as many um, mythic sockets as I have that are closed. And I will hopefully have uh, runes for more of the legends that didn't have runes. And then I will be trying to make sixes or greater for my mythics, uh, which I'm falling behind on. But eventually I will get caught up. 
I'm still not, I still don't have the monster for next quest, uh, either of them, but I do have both combos to try and breed the monsters that I need. I'm just going to do that after I get my race cells ready. Uh, I still need 15 pterodactyls. I do have a pterodactyl in there breeding now, but my hatches are clogged for a while. So as soon as I get caught up in pterodactyls and get my pterodactyl bodies made and my Thundenix bodies made, I will go back to trying to craft the quest monster before race gets here. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for more content. Tune in tomorrow. Uh, later.